Hey guys, it's Desso, and today I'm going to show you how to use a great plugin in Runelight called Tilepacks. Now, Tilepacks automatically on install has some pre downloaded tile sets that you can use for a lot of great bosses, DK's path to get there, a whole bunch of things that are very helpful in there. I myself have created the presets for the Barracuda Trials. All nine of these I created and worked with the dev to get these imported in there. Now, one of the feedbacks I got was actually from a lot of people in the colorblind community, and I want to go ahead and apologize to y'all that the colors of the tiles were not very friendly to them. And again, I apologize, but today I have a solution for y'all as well as anybody else who needs to import tiles for any reason. This is a lot better than importing via ground markers because when you import via ground markers you also have to clear this way and if anybody has imported Gwyneth Glide Marlin tiles you know that you have to clear from down here all the way up here and it only clears based off of chunks Gwyneth Glide Marlin is huge there's a lot of tiles that you have to clear and it takes several minutes now with today's video, I'm going to show you how to import those easily and be able to delete them easily, to hide them easily so that way you can have a clean ocean look and just all that fun jazz. So first off, let's say you don't have tile packs installed. So first thing you're going to do here is you're going to go to the plugin hub on Runelight by clicking your wrench, then clicking plugin hub and then typing in tile packs. From here, you're going to install tile packs. Trevor is great. He's been awesome to work with. I appreciate his work so very much. From there, you can go into configuration here. This is what yours will look like. We're going to hit tile packs and we're going to hit the cogwheel. Now there's a lot of fun things you can mess with here, but let's say you import tiles or all of your tiles you notice are only yellow. There's no color to your tiles. It means you have this override color active checked. We want to uncheck that. Now, let's go back to the tile packs icon here, and this will show you all the tile packs that you already have. In today's example, I'm going to show a Gwyneth Glide Marlin tile set that I created um, that the colors, as far as to my research, is more friendly with the colorblind community. So we're going to import those and show you how that works. Now, if you've never used this before, just to go ahead and show you, you can hit add tiles here and it puts all of the tiles that are in this pack and it puts them on your screen. Now you cannot edit these the way that you could with ground markers. You can't add labels to these. You can't change the colors with these. These are predetermined by this tile packs plugin. Now we can just go ahead and hide those. And now let's go ahead and add a custom pack. We're going to call this Gwyneth Glide Marlin Recolor. And the next thing I'm going to do is I have a notepad with all those tiles in it. Now, if you want my tiles for any of the Barracuda trials that are recolored, that are more colorblind friendly, I will have those in the link of the description of each individual video for the recolor of that specific tile set. If you need a quick access to those, you can just hit this handy dandy YouTube button here and it will automatically open up the YouTube video in your browser and you can scroll to the description and grab the tiles from a paste bin in the description. I'll have those there for you. I imagine a lot of people are going to be here from the video to show them how to add the custom tile packs. So now I have got my custom pack name. I've went through all that on where to get the tiles. So now I'm going to go ahead and paste them here. Now I'm going to hit add pack and you can already see we're starting off with the black tiles here and we can see some orange tiles over here on the left, top left of our screen. Now that's enabled. We can hide it again by just hitting our minus sign. So now we can see the difference from the green to the black. So we know they're working there. Now, some of y'all might say, okay, Deso, I added that. I do not see my pack here. Okay. So let's say you don't see your pack here after you just added it. What I'd like for you to do is go to your wrench, go to your tile packs, plug in here under your wrench, turn it off and then turn it back on. Hopefully now when you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the pack from there. If let's say you don't need this one anymore, you're completely done with it. You want it off your list. 
you can hit delete this custom pack and yes. Now notice I did delete this, but it is still here. No matter how many times I delete it, it is still here. So see, this is that graphical thing I was telling you about. Now, if we uncheck tile packs, check back, it is gone. It's nowhere there. So we can add it back. Motlin recolor and add the pack back. And from there, you can add as many as you want. You can keep adding. So I've got another one we can do. I've got the shark tiles as well over here. Going to minimize that. Um, am I spoiling my directory? I am spoiling my directory. So I'm going to have to blur that out for the video. It's okay. No worries. I'm not going to edit this audio out. This is just supposed to be a quick little thing. And now we can see we got the shark recolor in there. Now a lot of these, these just look the same just because part of the route is the same. So that is that. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments in the description below or comments in the video below. I'll be glad to help you if for any tile set that you may have, whether it's my Barracuda trial ones or someone else's, I'm glad to assist you. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel for more guides on all things RuneScape, RuneLight, plugins, quests, sailing, conversation style videos on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.